some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Norfolk, Virginia with a new frauditor by the name of Matt Marsh. And he's not too happy about being actually physically thrown out of the local DMV. Now, why was he thrown out of the building? Oh, we're going to find that out later on in the video. But right now, we are starting off in the middle of the investigation where this jackass tries to insert himself several times into the conversations that the officer is trying to have with the witnesses. Now, I would like to thank a couple of my subscribers for pointing this uh, new frauditor out to me, Big West Frauditor Watch, and uh, another subscriber who would like to remain anonymous. Thank you very much, uh, both of you, for pointing this guy out to me. Now, let's all sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Step back, please, while I speak to this witness. How far? Thank you. How far? Uh, out of the roadway, so on a sidewalk would be nice, sir. Thank you. This is out of the roadway. I want to hear what she says. That's none of your You're on her side. Says. You're on her side. She's on his side. So let's see what everybody says. No, you are the subject of a trespassing investigation, and she is a witness. I think that would be considered witness tampering if you're trying to uh, interject yourself into this little conversation between the uh, officer and her. So that would be a major conflict of interest on your part. I'm not going to ask you to step out of the How roadway. How far? Step I... out of the roadway. Cool. In the roadway. I'm coming out of the roadway. Unless you have a good program that can clean up the audio, you can barely hear anything anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward through this stretch of the video. She's scared of me now? Why would I'm you? Not be, scared of you. Why would you be scared of me? I'm why would you need to walk her to her car? I'm the one that got assaulted. I'm right here in my fucking car. I'm the one that got assaulted. Why is no one handling the person? Like, it seems like you were just in there looking for trouble. Like No, I'm not. You didn't I'm have to say anything about me using my camera to scan the QR code. So? I'm just is that reason to throw me out and well, put your hands what, on me? What, he, what you said to him? Yeah, damn Did right. Did you hear what he said to me first? Uh, Sticks and stones may break bones. You can't put your hands on people. You know, I spent some time looking through your videos to try to find out what happened, but they're all chopped up and mangled. Even your naming convention sucks. You just name them all the same date that you uh, recorded them on. There's no structure to any of it. Which appears to be deliberate because the initial interactions are not exactly there on your videos. At least not your main videos. But I did find in your shorts where the guy actually threw you out. And it, it's very telling and you can see the witness in there too. So let's roll that clip and find out why that guy actually threw you out of the building. Because after all, that witness just said it appeared that you just went in there to cause some trouble. So let's find out if that's really the case. It's time. Fuck you up. Say my mom again, bro. Say my mom again. Say my mom again, bro. Say my mom again. Say it again, bro. Say it again. Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? Dude, you are a grown-ass man. You should know better than to talk about anybody's mother like that. You're lucky he actually didn't do any harm to you. You got damn lucky right there, dude. Yeah, you got so lucky that he didn't bury you under the pavement for talking about his mother. I can call you whatever I want if you hit me. You're in like, office. Yeah. yeah, a government office. Okay, you're not involved. You're out. Okay, no, okay. You saw him push me. You saw him grab me and throw me out the door and push me down the stairs. I just thought it. I thought you he saw it. Did the right thing. You saw it. You're lucky he didn't do it anymore. Oh, really? I'm lucky. Yeah. Damn I'm right. lucky he didn't kill me. You see this? You still taking her side? Are you still taking her side? 
She saw him do it. She saw him do it, and, and I'm lucky he didn't kill me. What would you like from me? Arrest this guy. I'm not arresting him. That's not how this works. Well, that's up to you. Okay. You are. Stand what's your name? Tell me your name. Him. Officer Haywood. No and what's your badge number? 36099. Okay. You're not okay. going to arrest him for Do assaulting me. Do you want me. a report for assault or not? Yeah. I want okay. you to arrest him for assault. He assaulted me. If I go do that to him, will you arrest me? If I do it to you, will you arrest me? What if I did it to her? What if I grab her and throw her out the door? Would you arrest you me or are, not? You are aggravating the situation. No, I'm not. Okay? You called me here to help you. I do called, you want my I, help? No, I want your service. That's, that's what I don't I'm need your help. You. I need your service. That's the same thing. Dude. You're to uphold the law. I don't need your help. That is the same thing. You're to uphold the law. He unlawfully threw me out of the building stay, and grabbed me and assaulted here. me. He didn't. So stay he here. didn't? What are you talking about? How do you know he didn't? I have it on video. Because she told me he didn't? She just said she, just said she witnessed him throw me out. And you're saying he didn't do it. You haven't even talked to him yet. This is crazy, man. You gonna stick up for him because he's a security guard? I'm asking you to stay out here while I go. I am out here. Okay. I am out here. I'm gonna go speak to him. Okay. My body cam's rolling. Okay, am I not allowed to come in? No, you moron. He's gotta keep the party separated so he can get the story without any interference. But of course, you're not gonna allow that to happen. Because you know what? You are definitely in the wrong here, and you're trying to intimidate everybody over it. I'm separating yeah. the parties, I, I parties know. so you, I can get both sides me, of the story. Are you telling me I'm not? Allowed, are you telling me I'm not allowed to come in? Yes or no? Because I'm going to come in. I'm asking you to stay right I'm, here. And I'm saying no. I want a video. No. She lies. Stay right here. My video is different. What she said. Stay right so here. So you're going to believe him? Stay right here. Lawfully, I have to stay here, or else you're going to arrest me. Or are you going to arrest me if I come in? That's a no. Harassing me while I'm doing the customer. Right? I'm speaking to him. I got your side of the story. Please walk outside so I can get his side of the story and investigate a crime. Okay? Step I'm not, outside. I'm not and preventing the doorway. I'm not preventing you from getting a story. Step outside. I am outside. Step outside of this doorway, man. I'm not going to ask you again. Gonna, are you going to arrest me if I don't? Now you're impeding are traffic you going through to? this door. No, I'm not. There's no so you are. Out, you're in the door. You're impeding. I'm holding the door for the next person. Are you gonna arrest me if I don't go outside? Go ahead. Hey, well, you came in here harassing me while I was treating a customer. And he started to talk shit. I proceeded to escort him out the building. I proceeded to continue to talk shit. That's pretty much it, so. Okay. Um, would, you, would you like to press any charges with any physical altercation occurred between you two? Me you threatening yourself, bodily harm, or anything like that? Okay. Um, he's claiming an assault, um, so. If he steps outside, I'll be able to get your name and give him your information. If he wishes to press charges for any kind of assault, he can, if he likes to. Uh, I wasn't here to witness any of it. Can you step out of the doorway so this gentleman can come through? Sir, you're blocking the doorway. No, I'm not. You can go on in, sir. Look, I didn't move and he got in. I didn't move and he got in. What's... He can't trespass me. He doesn't work here. You're not gonna ask him if he assaulted me? You're not gonna ask him if he put his hands on me? Sir? Sir? Sir, I'm getting a report. Are you gonna ask like. Are you gonna ask him if he put his hands on me? You're not a cop. Are you gonna ask me You're if he put his hands cop. on me? Are you gonna ask him if he put his hands on me? And threw me out and threw me down the stairs? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, can I talk about that? Sure, if you can go to the back of this gym. If you'd like to speak. Sir, I need to leave, so I need that report before you talk to the manager. She wasn't involved. Sir, she wasn't involved. Can I get another officer out here? Can I get your supervisor, please? Sir, can you call your supervisor, please? Sir, can you call your supervisor? 126 to 120. Are you calling a supervisor? He won't talk to me. Sir, can you come to the DMV, please? Perfect. I have a uh, citizen requesting to speak with you. See how it goes? The more difficult y'all make it for me, the more difficult I make it for you guys. Matt, can you just wait outside, please? No. Are you kicking me out? Are you trespassing me? I, I need you to wait outside. I have a outside. transaction to conduct. I want to get a number and, and conduct I, I my transaction. You to wait outside right so now. you're you're telling me I have to leave? I need you to wait outside until we get the situation. So you're resolved. telling me I have to leave, okay. Go outside. Okay, please. cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I, I need you to write up a trespass too. Yeah. For me. Because they threw me out and I'm not allowed to be back here. Now that's the end of that particular video. But wait! There's more! Hang on to your seat, baby, because this one's a screamer!
Now he comes back the next day to try to get his business conducted, but he has to have a police escort to do it or something like that. But here's what the officer has to say to him before they enter the building and conduct their business. So and they're refusing the video for civil prosecution? No, I do it for complaints because if they refuse me, I'm here to do a transaction. I'm it's uh, you know, there you have to come to DMV to get a title done. And if they refuse, well, I've just wasted my day. I'm waiting in line for, you get a ticket. Sometimes it's an hour to wait. So and then you've I, been coming here all this time and you've been videotaping for a certain amount of time. Since I was, since Miss Hannes refused me right. and told me she wasn't going to process it, I called okay. Richmond. Richmond called and her. You used that video to send to Richmond to show harassment. I have it in case I need it because. But you I, do it all the time. I don't do it all the time. But I, you still keep coming back here. Well, I have to come back here. No, you don't and, have to come back to this one. There are plenty of DMVs. Okay, you're, so out I, in, you're out of Norfolk. Okay. I work at, mili I work at but, the military circle I, one. I, you can go to the military circle. I have circle. been there. I have okay. been there. It just seems like you come here. Well, I live in Virginia Beach. I, on, if you're, on purpose. Sir, if you're telling me I can't come to this DMV. No, not at all. Not at all. You well, can go to any DMV you want but to. But not, you're not focusing on the issue here. I, they refuse to, to serve me. And when they do that, I have to video to show. And why do you keep coming back if they refuse to serve you? Do you think they're going they, to serve you if you keep coming back? Well, it's it's mandatory that I come to DMV and process these titles. But so you I'm, don't have to come to this DMV. Well, they need to learn how to do their job, and they need to. Well, they, they do and, do their and their it's, job. They do do their job. Well, why? By by calling the police. You, you need you need to realize that in order to to conduct business, that if you come here, right. there's going to be an issue. I it doesn't need to be. Here. I would go right on down the road. Sir, and, and with all due respect, and, and it happens. With care all due respect, it happens at several DMVs. I've, I've had Poplar Hall call the police on me before okay. for similar issues. Okay, so then you know I have a. Everywhere you go, if there's an issue, is it really a DMV problem then? Yes, it is. Okay. For 30 years, so you I've been. You take no responsibility in your behavior. No. Nope. Really? I have my paperwork straight. How, how old are you? Are you, are I, you? are you an educated adult? I, yeah. <laughs> Very educated, so sir. you take no responsibility at all for no. your actions inside nope. DMVs that when cause I, them to when not I, want to have When I come to DMV and my paperwork is correct okay. and they refuse to serve me, that's when I get, I start videoing. Okay. You know, when it seems like that everybody is the problem around you, maybe you should take the time to consider that maybe you're the asshole, maybe you're the problem. Because you just said that you went to several the other DMVs and had the same issue. Well, maybe it's time you should reconsider your attitude problem. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.